Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like a chemist. Why? Because I'm going to make a digital pH meter review. So for that, what we need, it's a pH meter manual, some uh, buffer, uh, buffer powder and glass of water. Um, yeah, on the beginning one disclaimer, I can barely imagine when you can need such pH matter in your daily daily life. For me it's uh, one of those appliances that it's a little bit odd. If you are if you are looking for some kind of uh, some kind of gizmos and you are let's say wanting to 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 play with them you can you can buy but for the daily um, uh, for the daily usage I can barely imagine pH matter that it's uh, one of those things that you have to have at your home. Uh, okay, scope of the delivery. Uh, you've got, as I mentioned, some buffer powders in order to make a calibration of it. Manual, I'm a regular guy, so I will not use it. And pH meter. Uh, together with a pH meter, you've got a um, battery that is included. For people that are curious, it's a CR2032. What else? Those are basic features. I mean, actually, the, it's a current uh, from the battery. And uh, other basic features is measuring measuring range. It's for pH from 0 to 14, so the whole range. Accuracy, it's uh, 0 0.01 pH, plus minus. Uh, display resolution, it's uh, 0 0.01. Temperature compensation, it's uh, from uh, 0 to 80 degrees Celsius. So you cannot check uh, boiling water, but near to near to it. First of all, the impression. Rather good. Actually, nothing to, to be said. Uh, one thing what, what uh, worries me is, I don't know what is this, but it doesn't look nice. So if you are an expert, please share in the comments what it is. But from my perspective, something went wrong. I mean, it should not look like this. Uh, what else? Uh, minimum, uh, maximum uh, depth, because you need to put it into a, a solution or into a medium that you want to measure. But for those of you who are not aware about uh, chemistry, for instance, regular water from the tap should have pH like a 8, 8 something. Uh, if you boil it, and that's the sticker from this. And if you boil it, the pH level will increase. Uh, for some uh, bottled water, this pH can go down up to fifth, five with something. And for those of you who are um, using, uh, for instance, those filters like Brita, uh, you need to be aware that the Brita is decre decreasing pH level. So from eight, you can you can end up with a, a level of let me say six, six something. But after boiling, the pH will will increase up to something around eight. This is the uh, th it is what it is. For other um, fluids that you are consuming, I would say tea. Uh, for instance, um, green tea can have six something pH level, but uh, um, other like uh, yerba mate can go below uh, below six. Uh, other things like uh, coffee, for instance, as well below six, five point five, something like that. Um, um, but for um, beers, for instance. You are, we are ending in the level of 4.5 and for those who are curious about vodka because if I mention about beer vodka should be mentioned as well uh, vodka is reaching uh, depending on the on the of course but it's 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 around nine so this is let's say real life uh, fluids that you have or you can uh, consume and yes, uh, I should make a calibration, but 
on purpose I will not do it I will just measure it straight away and uh, let's see even the air it's measured ha huh. that's odd actually I don't know what's what's happening without cover 14 with cover <laughs> acidity increase okay let's check I will do my best and as I mentioned 8 point something and there is a nice button to hold it hold 7.5 and actually now without bubbles barely you can see but you, you are able to see it 7.4 now with air bubbles it's huh let me turn it on calibration I don't want to wait okay now it's at, at least it's uh, consistent but again I'm I'm really curious about uh, how you can use it in your in your daily daily life what for you want to check your uh, coffee acidity M maybe uh, really please share with me your, your your thoughts for which purpose for which intention it has been made because I can I cannot find any practical any practical um, uh, reason to buy it for your regular daily life maybe as a thermometer but really I don't think so okay uh, it is what it is please share with me your comments and as always thank you for watching stay tuned and see you next time bye